Howdy everyone, hello and welcome back to more Medieval Remake on the Black Shadow. And uh, having cleared our way through the Paul's Ancient Dead, it's off to the Lake of Mellowmead. Uh, one thing I don't know if I've mentioned yet in this game, but it is a really nice little detail. I do love, like, when you're traveling from these various areas, how, like, uh, the, the route that you take really does quite resemble the route you take, like, through the levels. Like, especially, like, Scarecrow Crews, for example. Like, going through all of this, you know. I think it's it's a nice little touch. It's kind of like tracing the path you take through the physical level. Really, really nice that the game does that. And, uh, you know, it makes a big difference as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, should we get cracking, everyone? Rhino doors. That sounds unpleasant. Wait, did it rise up again? <laughs> this town needs to make up its mind. Look at you. It must be 500 years since you were last in my ferry. You don't look a day over 400. <laughs> now, here we are. Zarok's magic has caused the lost mythical town of Melamede to rise in this watery grave. See you soon. I must admit, I don't remember that line. But I guess that means that uh, Dan died a long, long time ago. <laughs> you haven't got your army now. Better to use stealth than charge in. Beware the watchers. Slay them before they spot you and summon others. Yeah, so these little eye things lot around. If they do spot you, they will spawn in a variety of enemies. And there's some kind of unpleasant stuff to fight, especially when you look at the narrow walkways we got to be traveling to. So, uh, yeah. It's a dangerous, dangerous little place. Don't think we have to worry about killing the fish. I don't think we have to worry about killing the fish. No, we don't. They doesn't give us any chalice stuff, so we'll just ignore them. Right. So we've got this central area, which we need to use in order to get through the map here. It will uh, move us across and, and uh, you know, very quickly. So. There's a lot of shit around here. So if the watcher does catch the most on this happens, you can see it. I like how the game actually shows you when it's, like, looking and such. It wasn't very obvious previously. So if we walk into it, it'll be like, oh, God. It spawns these, uh, these, like, armadillo things. I don't know quite what they are. You're going to wait for them to attack us here. There we go. But we do need to kill these in order to actually get, uh, stuff for the charities. So we kind of need to get spotted by a lot of these things. So we might as well, uh... We might as well let them that spot us here. So we got the magic sword, and the magic sword is freaking awesome. So we should be pretty good here. Oh, damn it. Also, I need to get uh, some rain weaponry on here. Let's go for my bow. Damn you. There we go. Are they like armadillos? I'm actually curious. What the heck are these? Down here. Good, good. What am I missing? I know what I'm missing there. The uh, the hands. Yes. These aquatic abnormalities found a home in the sunken town of Mellowmead. Here they spend their days performing ritualistic sacrifices to malevolent elder deity. Ugh. Perhaps best not to get involved, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, I can agree. I can agree. All right then. So let's have ourselves a more of a look around then. But yeah, so you can definitely skip them, but as the, the Guardians are required for, uh, you know, for getting the chalice and everything, you kind of often just uh, kind of get spotted at the time. Alright, what have we got in here? Is that a sunken building? There's some health in there. I'm grabbing that. Mmm, interesting. The ancient people of this long vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Now, Zarak seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom <laughs> in the crystal caverns. You got no confidence in me, do you? But we'll definitely be swinging in there very shortly. Ah, oh, damn. We didn't... Shit, Earth Rune's over there. We need to grab that. Hold on. Head on back. Forgot about the Earth Rune. 
Traversing around here is a bit tricky. There's lots of little uh, random paths that will go here, there, and everywhere. I have triggered the Guardian. I didn't trigger them yet. Damn you. I don't believe you can hit them in the water. I don't think that does much of anything. Ooh, that was a shot, though. Where is the chalice in this level, anyways? I think I know where the chalice is. Think. Hmm. We'll see. All right then. Also, hello. Chaos rune hiding in the boat there. Kind of sneaky. Doesn't go anywhere. Get yourself spotted. Yeah. Bag. Probably more important to like hit them, uh, you know, hit them hard with the uh, charge up strike because they block up pretty quickly. Oh, right. We had to go back on ourselves anyway. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Well, we got Earth and Chaos Rune, so that's good. Can we have a look at what the Chaos Rune says. Forge with leftover magic. Yeah. Interesting. Go in there, Dan. There you go. Good stuff. Right, so we need to swing back to where we came from. We need to look to take the uh, travel around on the thing on this. So let's pull the lever a couple of times, if I can press the right button. If we pull it twice so we can get access to both other areas, that should be good. There we go. Uh, we'll head this way next, sure. Fighting these things on here is not fun. There we go. You can hit them in the water, I believe, but they just they just come back. I'm pretty sure. That is a huge explosion of gore and viscera. Oh shit, can't actually. It looks like you can jump that, but I have a funny feeling the game would not appreciate me trying to do this. So let's not go this way then. We'll take this route instead. Carefully. As he says, he sort of semi sprints across here. There we go. I need to shield up against those guys. That would be a bit of Ooh, this looks fun. So, remember the uh, the guys were saying about using the uh, the crystals? Yeah, so you see it. Oh, he does! Oh, they do die! Ha! Huh. They never used to. In the original game, yeah, you, they never used to die to that. They just come straight back up. Interesting. So, yeah, so the you say about them using the power of the crystals. This is uh, a definite example of that. Let me grab some health here quickly. So you can see there's these three... Oh, God. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Terrible trap. Yeah, they die now. That's fascinating because they that definitely was not the case in the original. But, yeah, so there's these three machines dotted around here. Uh, we need to interact with these. In particular, what we need to go ahead and do is... Uh, you see, they all have their own uh, rune spots here. Let's trigger this. can't even, like, push them off. So this one needs the time room, which we certainly do not have at the moment. We need to find out where that is. You? Wow, you do not want to die, do you? Damn you. I suspect we've got the rooms for the other two. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's probably the earth room back there. Yeah, fascinating. So you could definitely consider using the... Uh, actually, let's actually try this a little bit. Let's say we don't have the magic sword for whatever reason. Like, we haven't got enough, uh, you know, we, we, we have, we're a bit short on chalices. So, in theory, you could just use the hammer. It's not quite as effective. It it's not quite as pushy as I was hoping it would be. No, okay. It doesn't actually have the push power. But maybe you could use, like, the uh, the enchanted sword instead. I mean, the enchanted sword, it, you know, when it's actually enchanted, is basically as effective as the magic sword. There's not really much in it. Well, this is kind of awkward. Oh, God. Yeah, it does, it does a fair amount of damage. It's just obviously the problem is, oh, yes. 
Obviously, it's just pretty expensive to keep charging up. It's a lot of money, so. Right, head on to the third one here. I nearly fell off. Oh, I nearly fell off twice. That was close. Rescued that one. Oh, there's the time room. Ooh. Grab hold of that. What does the time room say? <laughs> Took time to push. Funny. The crystal contraptions that surround the whirlpool can freeze its dangerously turbulent waters. You will need all of the rune keys to activate the magical machines. Is it what I told you? They do crazy shit. Oh, I so want to jump that. <laughs> yes! All right. Obviously, this is going to be a trap here. There they are. Get them. Shoot. Oh, and then he fell off. Tried my best to die there. There we go. That's a damn fish. Okay, then. We've nearly got actually all of the uh, all the things. That's good. I mean, I should really be checking to see if I kill the, um, if I took out the eye things, whether that causes, uh, us, allows us to get hold of the, uh, the, the, the Chaz percentage anyways. I suspect probably not. I don't know. You can try that for yourselves. I'm going to go with what works. And so with the three machines up and running, that will just simply freeze the water. Which is pretty cool. And that leads us down here. And this looks cool. This used to look cool anyway back in the day. So we should leave that for a moment. But I mean, look at this. Talk about awesome. It looks great. Nice. I assume that's about, uh, about this. Oh, I know what this is about. These things. Subaquaticus pachydermis draconis. Truly one of nature's marvels, and found nowhere on Earth other than the lakes of Galamere. These peaceful creatures are the product of a chance encounter between an elephant and a dragon. <sighs> Truly, love knows no bounds. Let's not use our imagination, though. But yeah, so you'll see these actually, like, swimming around down here and stuff. It's pretty cool. Good. It just looks, it just looks, it just looks awesome, everyone. It is as simple as that. Let's see if we can find one of these uh, elephants actually down here. Probably somewhere, and I've just missed it totally. Yeah, it looks like it. We might see one on the second way down. We'll see. Unless you saw it. Oh, there's the chalice location. Okay, that's good. So we'll have to make a swing down here again in a moment, probably. Unless. Oh gosh. Get into a corner here. Get him! Ambush! Damn, I still need some more. Not got more yet. Hmm. Ooh, more gold back here. Very nice. We, we need the gold because we are poor. Very, very poor. Gargoyle, very good. I assume the star runes around here. Right. Okay, we don't need to trigger any more of these. We can kill the rest now. Uh. There we go. That's better, Shadow. You being somewhat intelligent in this game. Very nice. Very, very good. Nice. Let's see if we've got any more goodies here. There's a bit of gold hiding back there. Star Rune, I think, is over there? We need to find a way over there, however. Which, I guess, this works. Is it back here? No, but there's a lever. Ah, oh, that opens the gate so we can proceed backwards. Ooh. Oh, my. I thought I found a life board and I was like, hello. No, it was me using one. Damn it. Right, so it must be down here then. There it is. 
This is a good trap. Go. Grab it and run. We don't need to kill them. There we go. We're okay. Right then. Swing on back quickly. Get hold of our chalice. Oh, God, all this music. Right, so we have the star rune now, which is good, which means that we can, well, get the hell out of here. Question, where was the exit? Oh, it was this way, wasn't it? By the way, God forbid, like, you turn this and leave yourself with no exit point. You, you have to jump onto the uh, onto this platform. God forbid you do that. That wouldn't be too pleasant. It's back over here. This looks about right. Well, yeah, there you go. Kitchen Town, the Mellow Mead. Nice little level. Nice little level. All right. Always be March. I do hope you guys don't mind me cutting out like these loading transitions, but as I have mentioned before, they are a bit long. Right, while we're here, actually, let's buy some stuff, potentially. We don't actually have anything we need to buy at the moment. I suppose I could do with repairing the gold shield, but is it 100 strength for 120 gold? Oh, it is. Oh, God. That's expensive. We need to not use that as where possible. All right, then. So who have we got to chat with up here? Carl again? No? Okay then. Probably, um, probably, uh, ah, Raven Hooves. Ooh, Raven Hooves. I think I know what he gives us. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Also, interesting to note, folks. I don't know if that's, is this a bug with the game, but notice how, like, obviously the statues, all oh, they lose their equipment. When they give us, you know, like the bow and, you know, the shield and the spears and that. So why is it, for example, down here when we got all the magic seal sword? Why has he still got it? Just a thought. Just a thought. Anyways, Raven Hooves, give me the goods. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Oh, I do. You fancy a little gamble, like? Yes. And he gives us the magic longbow. This is a beast of a weapon. Best bow by a long shot. So this is literally imbued with magic. Does plenty of damage. Its charge shot is also pretty awesome. Yeah. It's a nice, nice weapon. Unfortunately, uh, recharging I believe, is even more expensive than the flaming longbow. Let's have a look. How expensive is this? Ten arrows is a hundred gold. It's expensive as the spears, so we're making very sparing use out of it, but it is very, very nice indeed. Awesome weapon. This will be uh, definitely useful later on against pretty much every boss in the game. But we'll, uh, we'll not lose our minds of it too much because, again, pretty expensive. Good stuff. Not really much else left to actually get from the Hall of Heroes, actually. There's a few items left for us to grab here, but... Uh, Nothing much. I think at this point onwards, it's basically like one more weapon, and then it's just start getting like life bottles and stuff, which is all useful. Which is all useful. We need all of it. All right then. So the next up is. It used to be like my favorite level in the original game, just because the music was so beautiful. Crystal caves. Great dragon lies somewhere in this cave. Oh, does he? He may not even be. He's, a hero's skull would fit nicely in his collection. Come on, load. What about the crystal caves? Unfortunately, though, the crystal caves <laughs> is infested with shadow demons. That's not so good for us. Right, 
right, so we have to try and deal with these range at least. Oh, it looks wonderful. Oh, God. Oh, no. Shit. Interesting to note, the chalice is right here. I don't believe the chalice used to be here on the original game. I could be totally mistaken, but uh, I don't think it used to be here. Interesting. All right, then. So, yeah, the wing guys uh, do have... Uh, I think they have a bit less health. Than, yeah, they've got decidedly less health than do the uh, the walking around Shadow Demons, which I guess makes some sense. The ancient town of Menomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Mm, they do indeed. So we need to be a bit careful in how we operate here. So you can use the swords to uh, break these crystals. Unfortunately, <laughs> imps down here as well. Forgot about that. Obviously, the imps are no match to our magic sword, but still. He can do uh, an annoying amount of damage. Right. This needs the star room. We definitely don't have that, so we'll have to come back here later. Let's go this way, then. Oh, it looks so glorious down here. Nope. Magic sword's not for you, buddy. Especially if they start stealing. Like, if you're using higher-grade equipment and you get stolen, you got to rebuy that. Stuff's expensive, man. Right. There's a lot of different routes and pathways we can take. That's apparently not a route we can take, though. Grab some gold. Now, does this look cool or what, folks? I mean, come on. Earth rune there. We're going to need that. All right. Proceed carefully. Face it. Face it. There we go. I do not know what actual logical purpose that thing serves to do, but I don't care. Right. <sighs> Damn it. Right. Let's not touch anything down there right now. We probably will. Oh god. Oh god! Damn right at all, bust it out. Oh, shit. These things are pretty mean. They do a lot of damage, and they're pretty resilient. All right, then, scumbag. Get him. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is a little bit precarious. Screw you. Got him. Nice. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah, hit and run. There we go, got one. There we are, nice. This thing's a me. I tell you what, sure. Let's uh, let's see what uh, see what we got in here for them. I don't, I haven't looked at all of them, but I'm curious about some of them. So, right towards. An ill-fated mining expedition by citizens of Melomede caused a tragic and brutal retaliation by the Rhinotaurs. They have since gone into hibernation. Nothing irks them more than being woken up early, and to them, anything before 2 p.m. is early. Oh, some people I know who would see that line on my series and just, and just, just nod their head in amusement. Oh, God. No comment is required from this, uh, from this Let's Player. Got our replacement shield. Let's swing over here. Right. Grab some health. That'd be good. More gold down there, actually. Fill me with life and greatness. I think that's actually used up there. It's fine. Alright, up here we go. 
Hmm. Now, I've always wondered, like, if these guys are in hibernation, the question is, why are they in hibernation? Like, how, how do you trigger this to happen? I got nothing, folks. This is gonna be bad. This, this just brings a bad news. Yeah, I thought so. Here they come. Oh, camera angle, don't do this to me now. Oh, that does so much damage. Beautiful. Mission gargle here. Should you need to reclaim lost goods? Oh, buy some crossbow boats, sure. So broke. So broke. Tread softly in these caves, for an ill-tempered dragon has a lair here. Interesting. Mm. I see your trap. Aha! I was ready for you. Oh! Go out of there quickly enough. gold. I believe it's there. We'll come back to that, though. We'll do all this later. I want to get through the majority of the actual cave itself, and then we'll deal with... Oh, my goodness. Babe. Deal with the fun of that. Oh, gosh. Ooh, ow. Okay then, let's make our way around. Carefully, this is breaking. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Some parts of the uh, the ground do break away. I forgot about this. Right, one or two over there. There we are. Ow. Ow. Can you imagine, like, living, like, remotely near a place like this? Be a hell of a tourist spot. Damn. Can't use the shield to block the, um, block the blast ray, so it just seems to bypass it and just hit you, which is unfortunate. Another monitor. There are loads of these dudes down here. Nice. Out of the chalice, very good. Ah, I think this takes us down to uh, that bit we couldn't get up. Yes, 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 I recognize that. All right, then. Well, then what we'll do is we'll swing over here now. Or we'll attempt to swing over here now. There we go. Now lead us to here. Looks interesting. There's our star room, by the way. Hmm. The mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much, as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Hint, 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 hint. Before we do any of that, let's grab hold of the money. Ah, oh, I didn't want to grab that. Oh, well, never mind. And get hold of the star room. So we don't actually need to do the dragon part here. This is uh, unnecessary at this point. In that you don't have to do it right now. But there's a reason. There's a club there. There's a reason. So if we swing on down here... We can indeed use our two dragon eyes to be found. One from the witch in the pumpkin gorge in the pumpkin boss, and the other one we got hold of for rescuing the mirror. Hello. Who dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber? Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Um. Oh, 
Uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Uh. Oh. Great. Well, I'm just going to give you a good hiding. <laughs> All right, then, Mr. Mean Old Dragon. Let's do some combat. Right then. So, this isn't actually that bad of a boss fight, to be fair. But you can, as I mentioned, you can't hurt him with pretty conventional means here. We need to be a bit clever at that. There's a reason there's a club. So if we swap this down onto various parts of the ground, it will cause icicles to drop on various parts of the level. What you need to do is work out what goes where and then hit accordingly. Beautiful. Not that one. Shoot. I think it's down here for up there. No, I was wrong. Damn. And it's not this one. Oh. <laughs> that was pathetic. Oh, that was that was miserable. Oh, that was so, so pathetic. It's not even funny. I wonder, actually, are the uh, are the drops here uh, around in a clockwise? So it's always like the one to its right if you look at it as a circle. I've done it again! Oh, God! Run, you idiot! Why does he not... What the hell? He just suddenly stops running there. That's really weird. Like, really, really weird why he wasn't... Uh, wasn't wasn't doing things there. Strange. Oh god, no, oh, now look, he's suddenly like, oh, I know, I see this game. Now he's starting to go a bit out of sequence here. He's going like backwards on himself now. So now you got to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more cunning on the floor. Aha! Trapped him! Nice. Good next, buddy. Oh. Ow, 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 Oh, gosh! He went really badly. Yeah, he sees. Yeah, he's getting cleverer now. He's like, I don't like... Also, notice his fire is now starting to go all over the joint. Oh, that really hurts. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God. Oh no, wrong way, wrong way! Ah! Shield, help! I need another shield. Oh, shit. Up, 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 up! Oh, I'm getting murdered here. I can't do anything about it. Just cover. What are you doing? Why is he only walking there? What's going on? Also, my shield's broken here. Yeah, it's really weird. There's like points here where he just suddenly starts walking. He, he can't even dan dash around. That's. I do not know what's causing that. That's very annoying. It's going to be too slow there. Aha! Got you! Ooh. Yeah, take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. I forgot that boss is quite tricky. We have ourselves dragon armor. Pretty sweet stuff. That hurt. So yeah, so as mentioned, it does allow us to breathe fire, which is not too bad. And it also makes you impervious to fire damage as well, which will become very important. Very, very... Built to scale. Oh my god. 
<laughs> you son of a bitch, game. You son of a bitch. Oh, for the love of crumbs. Perhaps the last remaining dragon? A fearsome, indomitable beast with absolutely no vulnerabilities, apart from that one cranial fracture he sustained from waking up with a start and banging his head on the cave roof. Good thing no one will ever find out about that. Nope. Dragons were once hunted for their blood, which is said to grant the power of fire breathing. This particular dragon's solitude stems not from the fear of hunters, but from his crippling social anxiety. Ah, poor dude. I'm sorry I had to bash you upside the head, but you did kind of assault me, and that wasn't great. Right, well, that place really freaking hurt. That was unpleasant. But we got what we wanted, which is the main thing. So uh, let's go and grab our... Ooh, don't just run. There you go. But yeah, a bit weird. Like, they say you just run points, and then he just starts, like, force walking there, and I couldn't even sprint. Because I wasn't at a run. That was kind of weird, that. Don't know what don't know what was causing that, folks. I got, I got nothing. Let's quickly swing on back to the start here. That's not the start. Start over here. Uh, I'm not exactly a fan of it constantly taking control of the camera. Like, I get why it's doing it, but it is making backtracking difficult. I'm not going to lie. This game is certainly a lot more possessive of the camera than the original is that a good thing or a bad thing? I could not tell you. Anyway, so let's go ahead and use the star room. Oh, oh, that's interesting. You know, if I had more health, like, more than, like, nothing, I'd be really fucking annoyed about that. As it is, I'm just mildly frustrated. <laughs> Son of a bitch. As the game does say, to take care on narrow pathways. Right. More enemies in here. We don't need to fight any of these dudes. We don't have to. Oi! Rude! Trying to steal my magic sword? To be fair, if he'd stolen it, I don't think I've got enough money to buy it back. Let's just get out of here, everyone. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight him. There we go, we got him. Let's get out of here. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that bait, that place beat my ass. That was, that was not fun at all. Let's uh, re-equip those. Let's see who we're chatting with Would next. this make a wonderful tourist attraction? <laughs> Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh, and see that dork over there? Hi! That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero. Ha, ha, ha. Damn gargoyles. So, I've already spotted who we're chatting with next. The last person that we haven't yet seen. Megwin! It's been a long time. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. <laughs> I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. <laughs> Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. <laughs> Off you pop. Oops. Oops. Sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. And that gives us power to lightning. We are a master at arms. Very nice. Great for networking. Fantastic. So lightning is an incredibly powerful weapon. Uh, it's short range, but does an absolute bucket ton of damage. Unfortunately, I don't 
believe or remember if you can charge these up again? You can recharge the lightning. Okay, I'm not sure if you could recharge the original. I'm very sure that someone in the comments will uh, remind me one way or another if you could recharge this. But maybe I'll use it for the drumsticks. The drumsticks, I'm pretty sure you couldn't use that for uh, restoring. Uh, you could never recharge them. Once they're gone, they're gone. But you can at least recharge those, so that's not that's not so bad. Cool. Right then. Let's quickly sort out our, our inventory again, because the game likes to rearrange it for me, which I don't appreciate. And that will bring an end to the video. So, as always, a huge thanks to everyone watching. Uh, this will be the end of this, uh, as it's turned out, extended recording session. Although the odds are, by the time these videos come up, I've probably already beaten the rest of the game due to time, time constraints. So, uh, I will see you guys definitely next time for the next stage, which I believe is the, yes, the Gallows Gauntlet, which is a corner level. And then we are in amongst some of the best levels of the entire game. I cannot wait. See you then.